Hey, so a couple things, or a few things, I guess. Um, one is very discouraged with the number of people watching my videos um, lately. And you know what? I, I gotta blame myself. I, I don't think the content is what people want, but it's what I want to put out there. So I'm torn as to you know, what I want to do. Um, I won't stop making videos because I think occasionally it's good to do them, but I, I don't know that I need to do them as often. There's a couple of th uh, schools of thought on that, I guess. One is that the more the more you do, I guess, hopefully more people would want to watch then. But I'm not really sure that's true. Uh, and then part of me is, you know, I'm kind of moving, not away from uh, movies, because I still love to watch movies, and I still love to buy movies, but, but I'm more interested right now in board games than I am movies. And, and I think for a lot of my audience, that's not the case and I, and I realized that because up until recently I hadn't played a board game in other than you know um, Trivial Pursuit once in a while or something like that uh, and I was reluctant even to play those when I did because they're old and I've played them before and whatever um, but the newer games and I, I had really not gotten into a newer board game in well I don't know when I guess Trivial Pursuit and that's not new uh, the last time I bought a board game, other than like rebuying something like Scrabble because ours was really beat up, or or Monopoly because uh, you know we got kids and we wanted to show them Monopoly, even though you know I hadn't played it in years. <clears throat> anyway, the new board games are amazing uh, from a strategy standpoint, from a presentation standpoint, from an interactive standpoint. For this cooperative game uh, thing that they never had before, a game like Pandemic where you're trying to stop a virus from spreading worldwide and you have outbreaks that take place in various uh, countries uh, or cities within countries I should say and then based upon those then they can they can spread and when they do you know they can form other outbreaks and they can join up with other outbreaks and come into like a like super flu type thing anyway uh, but so you're against the game Unlike Monopoly, where everybody's competing to get, you know, Boardwalk or Park Place or whatever. Uh, and usually, you know how those games go, right? Normally, somebody get Boardwalk and Park Place or get the green ones, and it pretty much is over. Uh, you could hang in there for a while, but for the most part, you know, if all you've got is, uh, uh, you know, the light blues, Connecticut and Oriental and Vermont or whatever they're called, if that's, all, if that's the only ones you've got, unless you've got hotels on them and you just get lucky, you're pretty much out of it. <clears throat> so... These other games aren't like that. Uh, even the ones that are against, you know, they, there's more reason to, and you can, form kind of alliances uh, in, in these games where if somebody gets far ahead, you can kind of say, well, let's, let's kind of team up here. You know, if we don't kind of stop him, he's going to win. You really can't do that in Monopoly, or at least under the regular rules. Uh, so these games are light years in front of games like Monopoly, or Life, or Clue, or, or even Risk, and things like that. Um, so I have an interest in them. I have boys that are of an age who can play these things and so on and so forth. But I don't think that's what people who are subscribed to my channel want to watch. I mean, when I get 40 views and have 1,400 subscribers, my guess is I'm not doing something that they want to see. Criterions, yes, I get views on that. So I'm guessing that a lot of people want to hear what I have to say about Criterions. And I could do that. I mean, I've certainly got enough Criterion movies, uh, hundreds to be able to review from time to time or showcase one, but I'm not really getting any requests for that. So I, I think I might get some viewers, but I don't know if that's even what they want. I, I, really, I don't know what viewers want, actually, to be honest with you. I know what I look for when I watch things, <clears throat> but uh, but I kind of go in streaks. Right now it's board games, so there's a handful of board game channels that I'm watching. I'm also playing a lot of Overwatch, so I'm watching two or three channels uh, You know when they come out with anything. Uh, there's a handful of people on, on in the Bluetooth community that I'm, I'm watching their videos. Um, occasionally, something will hit me from somebody I don't, I don't always watch, maybe, but one of their titles will hit me. So I think a lot of it's my fault. I may mean, not packaging it correctly or as flashy as I could, um, but I'm not really big on the, you know, and I know a lot of people do that, uh, To I guess because it, it's eye-catching. Uh, I've never really done that. It, it seemed a little, I don't know, I don't know if hokey is the right word, but cheesy or something. Um, and, and, you know, it's got to fit your own style, I guess, right? Or So I'm a little discouraged by it um, because I wonder what am I doing it for. 
you know, it takes time to do it. it, it it's uh, somewhat of an effort to do it sometimes. And I just wonder, you know, why am I bothering with this? Other than the, the reason I got into it in the first place was to leave something for my children, which is still true, and to have some sort of interaction about topics that I enjoy. But I'm getting that on boards now with my board games and on some Facebook uh, message boards that I'm on with some other YouTubers. I am getting, you know, some of that there. Not not a ton because I, I don't participate as much as some other people do. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just not sure of uh, where, where I want the channel to go, if anywhere, what I want to do relative to content, and what people want. Because when I ask, hey, are you guys okay with the board game thing or not, let me know. I get like one response or two responses. Yeah, I like the board game thing. Okay. <clears throat> so what does that mean? So out of 1,400 subscribers, I got one response that said they like the board game thing, or maybe two. Um it, it gets to be, okay, so the reason I'm doing these things is to leave something for my children and to have some interactions about topics that I enjoy. But if I'm not getting the interactions, then that part is gone. So how often do I have to leave something that my children can see when I'm really not even talking to them? I'm really talking to whoever happens to watch it, which, you know, might be 30 people, 40 people, maybe 100 people some days. And there are times I've had some videos, I, you know, if you can scroll through my videos, you'll see I've had three or four hundred, I've had a thousand. Uh, but those videos are, but maybe not, not a lot of comments. Uh, the Bond video I did, which ranked all the James Bond movies, got some, a lot of comments. The uh, worst movie ever made, which was satirical or sarcastic, uh, regarding Heaven's Gate, was, uh, has got a lot of comments on it. But that video's old. But I still get like a comment, a comment or two a month on that one, it seems like. Um, almost every month. So maybe I need to be more controversial, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to be... You know, I don't want to be controversial just to be controversial. I don't want to be something I'm not. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm not sure where this channel's going. And uh, you know, I'm not looking to you, to leave YouTube, but I'm also not looking to make maybe a lot of videos either. Um, <clears throat> I think you can do. I think you can be on YouTube and watch other people's videos and make one occasionally, but not, but not have to put out a lot of content. I don't know. I mean, if I get inspired, I guess, and, and think that I'm putting something out that people want to, I do think people will want to see. Other than a, an unboxing or a review, maybe a top ten of some kind or some sort of a unique thing that I think other people might be able to latch on to and do something on their own channels, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm just, you know, as you can see, I'm just kind of feeling my way through here. But, you know, scrolling through um, some of my videos, um, just seeing that there's not a lot of viewers. And that's that's uh, not real upsetting. I mean, I, I, in the end, I, I, I don't... And I'm not looking to get a million subscribers. Uh, that was never the intention here. The intention was just to have some dialogue about topics I enjoyed and to put to put something out there, um, and hopefully get some feedback on it and some interaction on it and, and and some discussion back and forth. Very little of that happens. In fact, very little of that happens on a lot of people's channels. Even when you know I I'll see things like uh, hey yeah great great vid really enjoyed it. I'm not talking about my just anybody's. Uh, yeah, I have that movie too. It's really good. Um, so there's really not a lot of interaction per se that goes on versus some boards that I'm on where you get a lot more conversation going on about things. So, you know, that's my rant for what it's worth. I don't know if I'm going to put this up there, but maybe I will. So I, I don't know what all this means. You can chime in if you have any thoughts or opinion or not. Um, I'm not even sure what I'll call this thing, but I, I'll do it. I'll put it out there and we'll see what happens with it. Um, I guess I'll put it up there. It's, it's short enough. Um, it's more of a rant than anything else, I suppose, but it does make you wonder sometimes, you know, and, and you wonder, you know, if, if I'm even, if what I'm doing even matters. And, and so if it really doesn't much, then why don't I just make a video occasionally, something my kids can see so it'll satisfy that need, maybe even privatize them, um, and send the links to my wife or something so that down the road, you know, years from now, 
if she can have those or something. Or maybe just save them on my on my iPad and, and, and on the cloud uh, and do it that way. Because there's a way to do that without uploading them to YouTube. I don't have to have it on YouTube. I just thought that was a good place to store stuff and uh, someplace you know you could have interaction back. But so I, I always make videos. Whether I make them and put them on YouTube or not is another story. That, that's the part that, you know, do I really need to do them on YouTube? Or could I just make them for my kids, personalize them more, and, you know, actually speak to them in the video? Um, my thought was, I, you know, I don't know what I'd have to say. So I thought, and if you say it once, you know, how often do you, do you say it again? But I could do a vlog-like thing, I guess, and just talk about my day and what happened on that day, and maybe my kids would want to see that. Um... I don't know. Again, I'm 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 really kind of just shooting from the hip here because I really don't know. Other than I just looked at the numbers, I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm like, yeah, you know, 35 viewers. You know, obviously they don't want to see board game stuff. Then as I scroll back and I look at why, well, you know, I had this movie unboxing and we had you know a handful of viewers there, and so it's not the kind of movie they like apparently, but I like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not upset about it. I'm just wondering where I should put my time. I don't have a lot of time. I'm not still not working, but I'm looking for jobs. I'm interviewing. You know, I'm running kids around since I'm home, spending time with the kids and my wife. So I, I, I don't think I have any more time than I had when I was working. Quite frankly, uh, it sees the time. You know, you've got this much time, and it just kind of goes whoosh, like everybody else in life. So that's the rant whatever you want to call it. I don't feel sorry for myself. Uh, I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get into this to to have a lot of subscribers. 1,400 is way more than I thought I'd ever get. Quite frankly, I'd be happy with like 200 subscribers who talk to me regularly, who I felt some sort of connection with and who, you know, were on the same wavelength with different things and, and so on and so forth. And I have some of those um, that I feel watch regularly uh, but not nearly 200. Um, and even though I know they watch regularly, they don't often comment. And even though even some that do from time to time, it's usually you know one or two lines. Um, not a lot of interactive conversation going back and forth. Again, that's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But do I want to spend my time, effort, and energy for that kind of a result? That's the that's the big question mark. Let me cut this off before it hits 15 minutes, and I got to go through a bunch of hassles to, to upload it. Um, so I'll cut this one off. Start another one on another topic. I have a couple things I want to open that I usually don't open until I show them on here. Although that may be changing. Um, but anyway, I'll I'll do an unboxing of something. It's a video. It's a, a board game thing, and I'll show something about that. Uh, in the hopes that there's uh, people out there who like board games as much as I do, and some of those people are going to latch onto this channel. Uh, and that might give me new energy in life if those people start talking about board games. Because so those are the kind of the boards I'm on right now that I'm hearing a lot of feedback on. The Overwatch board and the um, uh, Board Game Geek, they call it. There's all sorts of forums and all sorts of discussion about all sorts of stuff. Um, and, and it's really a great environment, so I would I recommend that. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, cut this one off now. Take care, guys.